we did it. Uh, I feel actually very privileged and honored to be uh, participating in this historical event. Um, it's a very great, it's an important step uh, for the multilateralism in general, uh, knowing that in every more or less uh, all these uh, processes, multilateral, are in a certain impasse. So this could be a good, uh, good sign also for other things. And I'm, I think after so many years of negotiating on this treaty, now we got a, a good deal and uh, finally we have a treaty on the issue that has been neglected for so many years. The um, conclusion obviously bodes well for multilateralism and it goes to show that, uh, goes to demonstrate that um, the international community can come together over an all important, all important issue such as this and actually come to an agreement which obviously leads to the signing of a viable treaty. We are very happy to have this treaty for Mexico. We have many actors, very performers that are that are now very, very happy with this approved treaty. أتحدث باسم موافد مصر وأشعر بسعادة غامرة أن استطعنا أن ننجز مثل هذه الاتفاقية التي حمت حقوق المؤدين في المصنفات السمعية البصرية قبل ذلك قبل عشر سنوات عندما نتحدث في هذا الموضوع كان الأمر يبدو غريبا والآن استطعنا أن ننجز هذا السق الدولي المحترم وإن شاء الله سوف نسير على الضرب من خلال المؤسسة العظيمة المنظمة العالمية الملكية الفكرية وايب it's very important to India because uh, in recently uh, we amended our Copyright Act in which we included all the ing ingredients of this treaty and we got our parliament approval and assent of the president which has been notified and uh, this will be very important uh, instrument for our stakeholders, performers and also the producers of Indian film industry and this diplomatic conference uh, is the best example for the multilateralism and norm setting in a very flexible and friendly manner which all the member countries participated and then agreed uh, to the final conclusion of the legal uh, instrument. This particular diplomatic conference has basically been a major breakthrough for the uh, copyright industries, especially in relation to audiovisual works. It's a milestone in relation to the World Intellectual Property Organization in regard to its norm-setting activities, considering that the last treaty was done 16 years ago. Um, and it actually gives us hope in relation to the norm-setting activities, more so in relation to issues such as broadcasting, as well as the issues of exceptions and limitations and any other uh, you know, international issues that are, might arise in this uh, multicultural, borderless society. The wonderful thing is the delegates here in Beijing have seized the opportunity to bring performing artists into the system of intellectual property that was started 125 years ago by delegates in Bern, Switzerland. And for us to be a part of that and to help make that happen is just an incredibly wonderful feeling and we're very happy. We're very happy and, and how do you feel? I am very proud that we were able to do this and I totally agree with everything that you just said. Brazil is pleased with the outcome. We have been fighting hard uh, to have some of the points that we had been raised before and all of them have now been adopted. So we, w we hope that this is going to happen and, uh, and also we hope that uh, this will generate a very good uh, atmosphere in WIPO for new agreements in the future. The delegation of Islamic Republic of Iran is very happy that this conference concluded and could pass all the obstacles in front of this uh, treaty and we are uh, in, uh, grateful to all delegations for their open and constructive approach that has enabled the, this diplomatic conference to reach to the break a path-breaking phase in the field of copyright and related rights. For us, the uh, delegation of South Africa, the diplomatic conference on the protection of audiovisual performances is something that we take quite, you know, seriously because it's got uh, great implications for the development of our, you know, industries. So we see this as a new hope um, and a very important landmark of performers having a protected right 
to share in the intellectual uh, property. It's a, yeah, it's the most important thing to, to happen. And after all, we took um, close to a decade negotiating um, th this treaty. So you can imagine what it means um, to performers worldwide, but especially those in the, you know, developing uh, world. It em empowers them, it gives them, you know, uh, the right to participate and enjoy intellectual property, you know, uh, protection, but, but a share to the IEP. Очень хорошо. It was very significant and impressed event. Very nice. This is a new process of the business model in the uh, performance uh, industries. And hopefully this will encourage more creativities and also encourage more uh, effort and initiative in our creative industry. After uh, hard work, and a spirit of uh, collaboration and flexibility from all delegations. Uh, we have ended, we have reached a happy end, but uh, to the benefit of the artists of all the world. Uh, in the case of Peru, the country I represent, uh, our artists, our performers, uh, uh, probably are going to celebrate the new international status that now uh, it has been reached through this agreement. And I think that uh, it was the time uh, and it was required for all the delegates to pay the debt that was uh, still to be um, uh, conceded to these uh, important artists because the contribution that performers give not only uh, to our identity, national identity, but to the economy of our countries or to the universal culture uh, should be treated equally by, the recognize, by recognizing their important rights. It's a very big landmark for Cameroon and this is going to really in the audiovisual arts set a new pace. We've been waiting for this for very long. So this, can, this treaty being signed by us is a landmark. Switzerland is very happy of the result of this diplomatic conference and we find that here in Beijing we have really had a good spirit for working together, finding solutions and I think this is really promising for the future of new treaty in WIPO and perhaps one on broadcasting soon. Algeria is uh, happy that uh, we came at the end to uh, adopt this uh, treaty. We think that uh, this uh, instrument will reinforce the uh, IP system as a whole and uh, we'd like to thank all uh, partners, all delegation who have uh, contributed in very uh, constructive and very good spirit uh, to this conclusion. As a Pakistani delegate, very I mean, delighted to be here and I find it's a wonderful experience of a diplomatic conference having concluded, concluded very successfully with unanimous uh, I mean, charter and everybody has agreed to it. The delegate of Japan and the government of Japan is very happy about this conclusion and we would like to congratulate the performers on their achievement uh, through their you know, effort over many years. As you are aware, we are, we've got uh, in the next uh, agenda of the SCCR um, work on uh, visually impaired persons under the agenda of uh, limitations and exceptions and we also have work on uh, uh, broadcasting uh, protection. So um, it is my hope that um, the spirit with which uh, the member states have worked uh, in Beijing on audiovisual performances can also be uh, translated in the work that we're having in Geneva so that soon we can have uh, another diplomatic conference on one of the, those agenda items. Now we are very happy. Uh, I think this is a good step uh, towards the protection of the artist rights and then Colombia celebrated. It's been very good for Papua New Guinea because uh, we, we, we also have a performance. For the European Union and its member states, the very successful conclusion of the diplomatic conference and making a reality of the protection of performers in audiovisual fixation in the audiovisual sector is a long due success and we're very glad to have achieved it here in Beijing. We are very happy to have the Beijing Treaty now. I'm very happy 
uh, and I think it will be very useful for my, my country, Mozambique. Yes. All of us, we are waiting the special moment. It's been such a great time being here in China for this diplomatic conference and so proud that we've finally got an outcome on this issue. From the Philippines, this treaty is very, very much awaited. It only shows that no matter how the world is getting more and more complex, it's really getting more and more smaller when you have people focused and dedicated to do what they really want to do. After this treaty, this is going to be a gift to humanity.